to our discussions for today. So um, our first question that we'll be tackling today is, what does it mean to be a single and how can we maximize the period of singleness? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, when we say single, I think I would explain it from two points of view. I'll start like, when we say single, legally, it has a meaning. The fact that one is not married and one is not into any form of serious relationship, then we can say the person is single. Alternatively, we can also say from the layman's point of view that you are alone, you are searching for a woman or a partner and you don't have yet. So the process of searching can also be termed as single. And I think your second question has to do with the, how you can maximize your single period. You understand? The fact is that in, in most cases in our days, people are like, while single, instead of them to maximize the period, they rather use the stage for some, if I should put it, unnecessary steps. So we have some headings we are going to discuss as far as maximizing our singleness is concerned. One, I think it is a period where we must make use of voluntary jobs. Voluntary jobs like, I mean, helping in local church activities. Why am I saying so? Because that is where you come to learn more about Christ. And you come to learn more about how to even get into the relationship which may lead into marriage. Other than that, if, let's say, you use the period anyhow... Like you move with friends, going for parties here and there, roaming about. It gives you some kind of ulterior attention, which goes contrary to what the Bible says. So once you engage the period in fruitful stuff, like coming to church, engaging in the word of God, probably joining in some ministries in the church, like a keyboard playing, worship and stuff, I think it grows you spiritually. So you wouldn't move into anything at all like that. Secondly, I think it's also a period of learning. You should get a mentor. And if I say mentor here, it has to do with one, it can be a spiritual mentor. Two, it can be an academic mentor, depending on who you want to be in future. And three, it can be on professional mentorship. Probably like you rightly put it, you being a doctor, a mentor can see to you, a mentee can see to you as a mentor, and looking at the field, you find yourself, you can take the person through from scratch. Okay, you are in SHS, so what do you want to do? I want to be a doctor. Okay, then you have to go through this. After you come to the medical school, when you are done, you go through this. So it is a period we use to learn. Alternatively, there are people who want to get to ministry. When you draw closer to a man of God, for instance, in your church, probably he will take you through the processes involved in becoming a good man of God. Some will also... We want to enter into the field of academia. So you look for an academic mentor. Oh, yeah, this is a professor. This is a doctor I like so much. So I want to go straight, be meeting him, seeing him. He will be advising me on what to do to be like him. We call that the law of creative mentorship. So that it will help you shape your life and be like him. In addition, I think there's a period you should get closer to those who have been there. Like if you single and you are aspiring to marry, certainly in future. The fact that you are not a eunuch, a naturally made eunuch, certainly you marry. So as you move along, you get close to a mother, a sister, who is into marriage and who has excelled. So once you go through that, the person mentors you from the one throughout to let you know what it is to become a married person. So with the time, and I think we have more, but you gave us... Some six minutes. We have about ten points I wanted us to discuss. But looking at what you are signaling me, the time is almost up. So I'll end here and we'll get ready for others. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Please, any other views from the panel? We can do in three so that no one will miss out of all that we are discussing. Any other views, please? Sir, a bra, young warrior, you're single now. I will say, am I any other now single no my anya single a ye pure. Ebi ya single nan so de omo ye nyina te se obi awaware. 
And in Shinano, in Shinano, where we are in shame free couples in shame. Once we are single, no win ya be ever hope. Now call ya and answer by. What a year so would you and any jab and our jay. And it's your pa a wawa rim. And it's all but two will book. Now a single, no, why we in the year. What's on home a free bonnet one? Me name sir when Shinano on Sabaka. And ye easy. Ye and I are go through. And ye easy. And today what firm no. So what could be at your wa? And so how you know, because I think TV anchor in Tiachin, no say chambers I will in some kind of a mom. I'm what I'm what you want your worry, you know, say, sir. Hey, now send out the puppy be say, boho, and I'm not yet high and hosano. But who run my womb? And to the mention of someone, you are my young warrior, you know, young mom pie and easy, but young mom pie and you say, I'm a boy. Amen. Amen. You just add on faster. You can add on. All right, so um, if I went Bible, it's talking about the young people, like Proverbs 20, 29, the glory of young men, it's your strength, and all that. You see, when you are single, it's the stage you are discovering yourself. God gives you opportunity within that period to be able to discover yourself. It's not an area where you should rush into anything. You see, you should be able to manage yourself. When you are able to manage yourself, when I say manage yourself, you should know yourself. You should know when you get angry. You should know what excites you. You see, there are several areas that we use to know. So we can. So if someone says something, what, what excites me? What makes me angry? What makes me annoyed? What makes me happy? You know? So once you have those understanding, and what is my talent? What, what is my strength? What are my challenges? What are my enablers? As I'm here, what would make me more successful? You should discover yourself. Now, because the reason you have to discover yourself is that when you marry, you are going to also manage someone. You know? Because if I know, you see, you manage yourself and you manage someone else, especially when it comes to emotions. You manage your emotion. For instance, feedbacks. If I insult someone, there are people, if you insult them, they will insult back. But there are some people when you insult them, they will insult. I'm giving an example. You insult, they will insult you back. You know, the Bible said that don't rebuke a mocker because he will insult you. And he said don't correct a wicked person because he will abuse you. Other versions said he will beat you. So, for instance, if I know that if I insult this gentleman, he will insult me back, what would I have to do? I don't have to insult. That is why you learn how to manage yourself and manage others. Always that's what we are doing. You see, there is no any straight cut rule for like if I enter into marriage, I'm expecting that when I say anything, I, say, I tell my wife to sit down, she will sit. When I say she should write, especially now that we have more educated people. But if you are learning how to manage yourself and manage others, when you marry, you have problems because it's very dynamic. So singleness is to discover yourself because you are going to interrelate with someone else who is also a single. You are coming to interdepend. So that is very important. That stage, it is, you discover your intelligence, you discover how you can study best. So you are not even in competition when you marry. Because many couples are even in competition. You get what I'm saying? So that is the few I can add as we put this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I just wanted to add on some few points before we move on. And one, one major thing that as singles singles must focus on is discovering their purpose. The greatest tragedy in life is not death, but life without a purpose. Because God brought you here on this earth and had an assignment on your life. So it's up to you to figure out what your purpose is in life. Because when you know your direction, when you know your destination, that will determine your focus. So if you just set in as a single all over the place and you're roaming about looking for your best fit or your partner, but you don't know where you are going, especially even as a man, you are the vision bearer for the family. So you have the guy all over the place planning the proposal lines, but what is your purpose, my guy? Do you know where you are going? Because when... Adam was in the garden before Eve came. 
God had told him what, uh, what he had to do. He knew what his assignment was. And based on the assignment, he knew exactly what the helper was coming to do. So you have not even figured out your life. You don't have an idea of where you are going in life. So what is the helper coming to do? This is just frustration just from the beginning. You are going, you know that your assignment is to lift this. You will know who has the muscles to help you lift that. So it's so important that singles will go on that journey to discovering their purpose. Because your purpose will determine your focus and that will tell you who can help you and who can go on that journey with you. So it's so important that you identify what God wants you to be before you start searching for who God wants you to be with. So it's so important that we get this. And I think it will help us and solve a whole lot of the frustration that comes up in relationships and in marriage. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. And then let's we move on to our next question, which is what is Christian dating or courtship? And what is its relevance? I think I can just start on that. Or anybody would want to start? Christian dating and courtship and what is its relevance? So as the word says, dating, dating, collecting data. So like you are on a research program, if you want to do a research and you, you saying that you are not going to collect data, I'm wondering what your conclusions and I don't know what you're going to come up with. You are collecting data. So if you are going on a research, you need your questionnaire, you have to ask questions, you have to probe. So the dating period of the single period is never a time to just waste. You, are, you have met somebody and you feel that together we want to go on that journey, getting to know ourselves so that we can see whether it will be possible for us to spend the rest of our lives together in marriage. So you do not have to waste time. It's time to collect data. You do not just roam about, be pairing, taking all the selfies. Everybody knows that these are the, the best couple in the, in the department and all of that. No, it is the time to really get to know yourselves. Because when you do not know somebody, how on earth can you be so sure that you can spend the rest of your life with them? So it is very important that we do not waste the time for courtship. We do not waste the time for dating. And sometimes you meet some singles and they have the um, relationship ending and it's more like their, their lives have come to an end. And I know, I know you've invested emotions. But come to think of it, you are learning. You want to know about yourselves to see whether you can move on in marriage, into that covenant of marriage. So if a lot of things are coming up, there are several huge red flags, and it is not going to work out. You just have to take the decision. We have tried our best. It's not going to work out. We would go our separate ways. There's a whole lot going through breakup, but it's better to end the relationship at that time so if you are 25 years and you are entering into marriage and you have 100 years here on earth, you see the number of years you have ahead. So if you have spent three years and you just have to let the person go, isn't it so wise to let the person go than to invest the 75 years ahead of you in the wrong marriage? So let's really take advantage of the dating period because there are people in marriage who would want to look back and be able to do so much if they had to go back and then redo some things there's a whole lot that they would want to do so if you find yourself as a single today i think you just have to congratulate yourself because you have the chance to get it right you have the chance to be exposed to the right knowledge so that you can make the right choices so please, let's make good use of the 
period of dating, it is for collecting data and not just for roaming about, sleeping around, and then wasting the time. Thank you. Any more views from our panelists before we move on? What is Christian dating and courtship and what is its relevance? Okay, thank you. Uh, please, what I want to add up to what our sister just said is courtship and dating, what we should know is you should never compromise on what you believe. You should never measure measure any relationship you desire by the standards of scripture. So according to 1 Corinthians 7, it says that any believer can marry anyone but in the Lord. And the reason why you are doing this is because you want to know that the other partner loves God. If you don't get somebody who loves God, it will be a disaster for you. Because the person, if the person is hurting you, doing anything wrong to you, they don't care. But once you get somebody who loves God, then you are sure that the person is also, the person wants to go to heaven and therefore will do everything. Always I say that uh, when you see pastors and their uh, wives, you may think all is well. They don't have any problem. They don't have any issues. They have a lot of challenges just like any normal believer. But the fact is, any pastor who is not cheating or doing anything wrong to their partner is because they know they are heading towards heaven. They are going somewhere. So they don't want to offend God. Always when you tell this to most young people, they think, oh, uh, most of the church guys are not romantic. Am I lying? Yes. And even the ladies as well, they are not romantic. It's better to get somebody who is not romantic and go to heaven and enjoy a peaceful marriage. So some of the things that we don't know is when you are dating, we have something we call primary factors and secondary factors. The primary one is to get somebody who loves God dearly, genuinely, and therefore will love you. And the secondary one is the six packs, the job, you know, all those things that we, we, we have fun with, you know. So those things are secondary. Please, if you are here, listen to me very well. They are very important. I'm not saying here... Uh, that the person should not attract you. You should get somebody who attracts you very well. The hips are very important. The body, the skin, everything is so important. But you, first of all, you should know the person that does he love God? Does she love God? Why are you ready to so call heaven? Before you check all those packs, the six packs, the eight packs, and all those things, Else you will get all these things and one day you will cry. One day you will leave your salvation. One day you will leave the church. And I don't think that is what you are looking for. So that is all I want to add. Thank you. Thank you very much. Pastor? Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, yeah, so like what uh, Auntie Nestle and Dr. Julia had said, they are very true. Now, when you get to dating and the word courtship means evaluation of character you know so when you get to dating that is where you make smart decisions you don't make emotional decisions they are two different things but unfortunately many of those who go into relationship they make emotional decision during that period and that they go into the marriage, and they, they even throw their emotions away, and that is when they start fighting. But when you are dating, you are evaluating character. I'm not saying, you see, we are not saying don't date, but when you enter into dating, you are going to evaluate character. You are going to make, that's why I use the word smart decision, specific things you are looking out for. Um, one, when we say compatibility, there's not, the word compatibility is not with character. You know, people say, 
uh, I want to be compatible. When we say compatibility, it's not talking about similarities. Like I'm, I'm similar with him. We no. It's talking about beliefs. It's, it comes down to your beliefs and values and traditions and norm. That when you end, you are dating somebody. It's not when you are act, asking yourself, "What car will I drive? What car? What, our room? I want two bedroom apartment. I want three bedroom. I want a story building. I want this car." Those are not. They, they are non issues when it comes to it because dating is where you are testing the person's beliefs. Do you see what, for instance, let me give you an example. When I wanted to marry, I realized that I would be in ministry in future. It was more likely, though I wasn't certain, but it was more likely that I would be in ministry. So I was looking for a woman who would also want to be a pastor's wife. Because, you see, pastor's marriage is different from a member's marriage. Our marriage is different. So that is why when a, you are even married and you want to be a pastor, we recancel you. Because now you are entering into another zone that is unfamiliar territory. That place is different. When pastors marry, it's different. So I understood that. And look, uh, to be honest, a confession. I scouted. Uh, I, I started talking to... Because sometimes I meet some of the ladies... And after our first meeting, I know it's not uh, there. was this particular lady I was observing. And then we were sitting. You know, people want to hear. You see the way NS is what? <laughs> and then when we did, as we were we talking and trying to know each other, I realized any time the phone rang, it was, hey, Puna, nee. And hey, I said, ah. So we asked. So why is it that why well, you don't have gospel song on your said, Oh my my phone uh, space is small. So I, we asked that. So if your your phone space is small, why didn't you choose gospel rather than? So the the thing that came into my mind that I can't imagine so can you let me ask this. Can you imagine those of mommy is in the church? Then her phone rang and it's shatawali. Ah, what would you think? Oh, I'm just, I'm just asking. What, what do you think? Mommy has backsliding. Well, Ernest will go home and say, Doctor, what is it? What is of mommy tone? Hey! They have no answer. They have no answer. They have no answer. They have no So, you are making smart decisions. You are checking beliefs. Uh, there's a lady who said that she was trying to get her guy to church. And the guy said, oh, I'm too busy. Sunday is my resting day. Of this guy, he's not going to, you are not going to grow in the Lord. Obviously, you have disparity in beliefs. She values, the person values work more than your faith. So, you look at those. Those are essential things. That's what the Bible said. Don't unequally yoke with unbelief. He's not talking about finance. He's talking about your faith. What will benefit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his life? So you need to do smart decisions. In fact, if you have never been detailed in your life, in dating, that is where you become detailed. I get surprised. You know, that's why I say in church, don't hide dating because they will trick you. And when you hide dating, the men benefit most of the time. Because men are hunters. The reason I say men are hunters, and you know why I'm saying you are all the men. Hallelujah. They are hunters. So, but when you are, we, we know it. You see, when he goes to the, the, another lady, who says, how about this lady? The lady will ask a question. You see, so once you are, if you've never been detailed in your life, it is dating that you become detailed. Go to the person's house. I had a very simple principle. If I have never brought you, if I'm not confident to show you where my parents are, where I lived, then you are not a candidate for me to marry you. If I can't come to your house, I know people who have dated, they have never met the parents of their date. No, no, no. When I wanted to marry, and finally made my mind, oh, was of my man, is that she was living in Sunyane and I was in Accra. I traveled and came to
to Kumasi and she came to Kumasi to, for me to see her mother. And then I went with her again. The following month, I went to Sunyane to go and see where the father lives to have the first feel. And I opened my eyes. I opened my... No. I didn't add one emotion. And I, I've said it here, sir, and she's aware. There was no any feelings at all. You see, it made me make the right choices. There was no feeling because besides, the last time I saw her was when we finished university. So there was no feeling like I said, she's looking beautiful, she's attracting me, and the way she can model, and no, 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 no. I went there, looked open, I saw the siblings. Sat down, we spoke, I spoke to the mother, I know they are in Catholics, this is what did. I went to their church to see what church is she in, whatever she's doing. You know, and then I wouldn't get all the full information, but of course, gradually. And then they had also opportunity to see who I am. She came to Accra. In fact, you know what? I sent her to Nima. If she was a Jew, I told her this is where I grew. I sent her there, and she saw where I grew up. Because you know that this is somebody with different character. Zongo boy is coming to marry her. So if you have never been detailed, be detailed when you are dating. And put, you see, for instance, so when you are dating and you say you want to marry, give yourself, so one year. Any dating that is beyond two years is nonsense. You see, after two years, no, it is too long because you're a man and a woman. There is that special attraction. And it is in God's wisdom. The only thing that attracts men is women. Men, cars attract you. Or cars attract you. What do you call it? And all the cars you see is because of women. All the things you see is women that like, I, you know in the Bible, women want to shop. Men, what do you want? I mean, they can wear one shoe a whole year. The only thing that, so when you date for long, you open room for a lot of things. For abuse. So my whole point is that, be, make smart decisions don't make emotional. And I love, I'm seeing Kalo, Kalo. Ma, I love. A lady said, she loves a gentleman. I said, why? He said, the way they have done me, so I'm not going to be Michiana, the way I feel, I'm saying, oh, you're a truffle. I don't know. Aha. So you have to be, and then that will help you. And let me add this. One more thing. How do you select? Oh, you have a question like that. No, if you are dating, how do I know? You see, don't be dating plenty of people and moving around. That is not right. It's like recruiting. Dating is in, a, in business, we call it recruiting. It's HR. It's personnel selection. So you are going to select a personnel for an institution called marriage. So the same process you go through. So who do I want to marry? You sit down and write it. Write that I'm going to be a pastor, so I want a woman who can serve in ministry. I'm a very busy person. I want a woman who can accommodate this. You write all those things down, and then you are set with it. I want a virtuous woman. Define it. Don't say vague things. That is why the single time is when you discover yourself. So write it down. Ask God, what do you want me to write? And write one, two, three. Just write like three or four or five. Don't write plenty. Then when you meet the woman or the man, you are not looking at hips. You are looking at, can she fit into the assignment? And so, she's a woman of faith. She's a virtuous woman. Oh, I want somebody who can... You go and marry so fufu. You know that you eat fufu every day. You went to marry a woman who doesn't like... You have problems. You didn't define... Your terms. You can't open a company and say you want to just bring anybody there. So that those things are important. That's how you and then you settle. Then you move to the next step. Then all other rest, you throw them off. Then you move down by be 30, 10 women, 20 women, 20 men, and then you go on until you don't finish. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much, Pastor. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. So we are emphasizing on the fact that it's important to make smart decisions. But I realize that there's one key thing that will prevent a whole lot of people from making smarter decisions, especially you have heard, 
so much today. You feel that you are so equipped now to make the right decisions. But that one thing is desperation. A lot of singles are desperate. Esau was so desperate, he was hungry, and he sold his birthright. Desperation will never produce the right result for you. Because when you are desperate, all your senses are so down. The hungry person will not even notice a dirty plate. You are so hungry, you want to fill your tummy. So you just take whatever is available. When you are desperate, you will settle for less than you deserve. So it's so important that every day when you see yourself being so desperate as a single, step on the brakes. Because when you are desperate, it's so likely that you are going to get it wrong. And let the Spirit of God guide you. Be discerning. Because discernment is that which will help you to beat the presentation. You have this nice gift in front of you. It is well wrapped, but within it is garbage, rubbish. It's discernment, the Holy Spirit, that will help you to see beyond the presentation. So it's so important that every day you are seeking the Holy Spirit. That the Holy Spirit will guide you. The prophet Samuel, he saw Eliab and there he said, this is the anointed one. So even the prophet got it wrong. He just saw the appearance and that was it. He said, yes, this is the king. But Eliab was not the king. So it's so important that to be able to make the smarter decisions that we have discussed right now, it's so important that you cast out every spirit of desperation and it's so important that you invite the Holy Spirit to be your guide. Thank you. We move on to our next question, which is, why is it important to migrate from courtship to marriage? Well, sometimes it looks like some people that courtship is like some degree program, like three years. I think if it's surgical, a specialty, like six years or specializing. Uh, so some people have turned the courtship into some degree or master's program or doctorate program. So why is it important that you migrate the courtship into marriage? Our panelist would take that for us. Hello, yeah, thank you very much. I think it's very important, like Pastor Riley put it, the more you date, the more you are likely to fall because it is very likely you will find fault as and when you move. You begin to see certain things you initially saw as good, but because you go about every day going and coming and going and coming, the things you initially saw as good are now becoming bad. So you see people date a year and she's the most beautiful he's ever seen or she has ever seen. After one and a half years, oh, we have, we've even gone to see the family. After two years, the same man will come and tell you, last time I saw something about her which wasn't nice. So forgetting that for the one and a half years you've been dating, you don't see it. So the fact of the matter is that the more you prolong the courtship, the likely, the, 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 the relationship is likely to break. Because in most cases, that is where, like I rightly put it, the fault you begin to see. You saw it from day one, it was normal. But it to escalate, escalate, and at the end of the day, you're like, oh no, initially she was this, but now she changed to this. So the bottom line is that it shouldn't go that long, either than that, you can't end up marrying. Thank you. Thank you. Two more. Two more. Okay. Should, okay, let me say this. You see, there's a reason why it is in your own interest not to prolong dates. Please, it's not God who is imposing that on you. Please, I hope you are getting what I'm saying. Uh -huh. It is in your interest not to prolong dates. So let me explain it well. We are all aware. Sometimes we pretend. You are in date. You know you want quickly to have sex. We all know. Is it not true? A man and a woman dating. You have one, you have ulterior motives. We all know, not that we don't know. We all know that the least, if they give you the least chance, you are both not Enox. And uh, if you were not having feelings, you wouldn't have dated at the first place. So we know. 
it is a uh, an, an an please let's do blend the tree and the english so that everybody uh, would benefit thank you okay so uh why don't we teach you no more way i'm gonna buy one of them to a number okay more and we see yeah 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 i'm a little bit yeah but see when you need any mother cry quite worry my ear in the end you say or barney or bear my date at the able to me see first of all the reason you are dating they say more attracting each other what i say more attracting each other in a your mama who cry yeah more better like no it is huh oh madam person no that that's the truth now let me let me say let me ask you this question now if you don't fast track the will i don't want to say fast track i don't mean do it unadvisedly now let me give i'm saying this is very important i'm giving you a serious apple how many of you if you do, somebody brings you a car he said he want to sell the car to you and then he says that try it and see if you like it then you buy if you don't like it don't buy then you tried and you saw there's a fault with the car would you buy no but let's say you bought the car and as you are using it you saw a fault what would you do you repair so that's the difference now if you date for long the person will see all your faults and he will reject you but when the person married but better for worse you are lot or cast on worry why he must go to court so the person will make effort repairing than going to reject you it is that's what i'm saying it is in your interest if you think that is why if you are dating look for specific things i want i'm going into ministry i want a woman like this specific thing don't be looking at if you then i want to know we are studying what what studies doesn't have objectives no i don't know whether you are getting what i'm saying if you are studying without objectives you can never learn Assume you go to lecture and say, oh, we don't have an objective for the lecture. <laughs> Every relationship must have an objective. There's a reason you are going in. You are looking for a particular 7 billion people on this earth. Isn't it? And you are looking for one person. So you must have clear objectives or else you will see. So if you prolong the date, the person will discover everything. And if some or most of the men, if the ones they sleep with you, they are at the news. So look, men are like cocks. I'm telling you the truth. We are here to hear the truth, isn't it? Not so? And that's why I said, don't be in a hurry. We are going to tell you the truth. Men are like cocks. When men start having sex with you, in the split of one minute, two minutes, a teen in this way, whoa. A teen in this one. I feel the He wants to reject. Are you getting it? Till the next time he comes on heat again. So what you do is that. If you're a woman, you are dating. Keep the man to have that heat. And be wise. Don't say that I'm keeping the relationship for long. Because men will fight. He's a hunter. He will hunt you till you give in. So don't give, keep it for long. Keep the heat. Look for whether you are seeing the objectives you want. If you see that, that then move ahead and go and start making progress to marry. If you see that this man, he doesn't, that is it. End the relationship and move on. Don't keep dating for long because when he discovers or she discovers your weakness, they will reject you. That's why many women have not married. Many, all the women who are not married, you ask them, somebody came to date them before. It's only one, one people who they did not, they were not dated. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Perfect marriage. Oh, baby, and this year, see, dating near Betraya, who no idea person, who no, who no, and to try, say, who be your bed tonight at the end of marriage, and I'll be who do a person who win you now, amen.
Amen. Thank you. We're going on a break very soon, but before that, we move on to our fourth question. That is, is marriage even necessary? Is marriage even necessary? Any of our panelists to help us with it? Is marriage even necessary? Yeah, I think it's necessary. We can see that in Genesis 2, 22 to 24, with Adam and Eve, and even though we don't see a specific marriage vow, they became one flesh, and they walked through life together. And God designed in creation to point people back to him. Because if you read a scripture like Isaiah 62, 5, it was repeated in Ephesians 5, 22 to 33. And that talks about marriage as well. And we see things like companionship. It is necessary we have to marry because of companionship. That one can also be seen in uh, Genesis 2, 18. For sexual intimacy. Proverbs 5, 18 to 19 talks about that. We can see that also in Hebrews 13, 4. We also go into marriage to procreate, certainly, if we want to multiply like it was written in the Bible. That one is also from Genesis 1, 28. Furthermore, we have provision to and support, because a woman or a man needs support. That one can also be seen in Genesis 2, 18. So, from all what I've stated, then deep down in the Bible, marriage is very necessary. That is why it is an instituted stuff in the Bible. Thank you. Any more views? Hallelujah. I think uh, it's necessary in the sense that um, even in our culture, apart from all that our brother has said, in our culture, as we are growing, you know, you cannot live single throughout your life unless God has single. So as he said, you need to give birth, you need to have a companion, somebody you can talk to, somebody you can share emotions. There are certain things you can't share with your mother. Sometimes even your friend, you can't trust them. But if you have a spouse, you can trust them and share intimate, intimate uh, issues with them. And also, uh, it's a glory. The Bible said anyone who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtain favor before the Lord. So you have a blessing ahead of you that you have not catch up yet. When you are single, God will give you your single blessings. But the moment he brings the two of you together, he gives you double blessings. So there are a lot of you here you are lacking your double blessings. And until you step into the sea boldly, you will not receive that blessings. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Let, let me... I, I, uh, I promise them I won't say certain things, but uh, I think I have to say some. Look, if you don't marry and you are a man, I want you to be true. Look, you see, let me tell you something. God has made everything. Bible said he has laid the foundation of this with wisdom. You see, he has, he has made everything. Research has shown that men that they only get to 30 to 35 onwards, 30, they start masturbating. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying when you marry, solve your problem of humanizing. That is different. We have two kinds of people. We have people who have character flaws. Eh? That is another conversation. They have character flaws. It's like that. They have character flaws. But there are some people, they have been trapped because of their indecisions and certain decisions they have made. If you stay single for long, I can guarantee you, if you are a man, you are not Enoch. Some things will start happening to you. You start masturbating. You start watching pornography. I'm, give you, I'm going to give you reasons why you have to marry. You start masturbating. And this is a research that is there. So I hope I can say it. Okay. Oh, and, uh, I'm 
you see women are there to they don't solve it entirely but look bible said a soul that is hungry anything bitter is sweet but a soul that is satisfied even honey he will eat hmm if you are there, you are me now. I am me. I am there. Me tell you, me say there. Me 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 share your me anymore. I'm so sure when you must say, oh, share your God have shown. I'm trying to tell you why you should do it fast. It's the same with women, but women, you see, their sexual ego is a bit different from men. But even with women, the other time I was shocked when the a woman started telling me, I said, what is not only men? Don't keep for long. Okay, number two. Women, if you are dating with yourself, is marriage necessary? You, if you are a Christian, you can't do anything outside marriage. You see, you have to see our beliefs. The Bible says that you can give birth within the confinement of marriage, procreation, and all that. Now, every woman, there are doctors here, they can bear me out. I have to say this because, as a pastor, there are some of the things you don't have to hide, and so that they can get the license to also talk small. Because I have someone person more come person more can be. Uh-huh. So, as a woman, the day you were born, all the eggs you ever produce, they are there. Is it not true? Every month you are releasing them. Every when you get to the age of 30, 35, 36, 30, the egg viability comes down. They are doctors. You ask them. It doesn't mean you can't give birth. I'm just letting you know it. And so, don't be saying, hey, me, no, me, no, me, no, me, no, 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 don't be doing that. Quickly, if you get the opportunity to marry, migrate and marry. Please, I hope you are getting, if you are dating. And don't let, the men are selfish. Now listen, any woman you are dating a man, you need to change and move on. No, I'm telling you the truth. Now, the reason why now all the ladies in the church, if you are dating, I tell you that, look, if the man is dating you, let the man come and marry you. The reason is that Obama no did 100 crore be to me. And I'm going to Abraham's story. Sarah, who you can't do, I don't know for. Because men, physiology is different from, from women. So when the man is dating a man, please, don't be dating the women for long. It is selfishness. Huh? Okay, so let me, huh? Yeah, let me tell you something. When I was going to marry, Obia Okase, let me tell Bible, let me tell you why I'm saying the man, every man who is dating you and you say, I don't have money, me need you, me need you, me need you, me need you, let me tell you why. Are you ready for the answer? I'm going to tell you why. And this is the Bible. Bible, the There is a parable in the Bible. And I'll give you personal experiences. I'll give you the scripture and give you practical experiences. There's a parable in the Bible. Jesus said, A man found went to a field and found a treasure. And when he saw the treasure, he hid the treasure went to sell everything and bought the land. Why do you think the man bought the land? Why did he sell everything? Because of the treasure. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Any man who gives that complaint, he doesn't love you. He's making, he's giving you an excuse. No, she be before floor. And I'm here. And I'm Men, chen, obi ba. Now, let me give you a part. Me, when I was going to marry, when I was married, I was a graduate from the university. And I said I would do my own business, entrepreneur. I just have some. I started my first office and all that. Nothing. She nikitre. Oh, yeah, was some not can cry and you scat. No, no, no. I didn't have nothing. And my wife, she was not working. She had finished. She has finished service. Ono diana 
and my parents had money. Unlike me, they now say, no, I have to do something. She, she, there was no pressure on her to work. So she was in the house. She was doing her own thing. She was thinking of going to medical school. Again, that was what her thoughts. And then I appeared. And me to near my broken heart beating. Me and my be said, in Pratch yet. No, no. Oh, it's true. Your mommy broke your heart. That's how you see all those things I'm telling you practical. I decided that me in Pratch If I'm ready to marry, I found a woman one year with it. Uh huh. And then we marry. Then I proposed marriage. I didn't propose village. I told my wife that I want to marry. And she laughed it off. And she realized that I came back again. And, and all that. I spoke to her. And she realized that I said, so, who can say no vision? Say, who dear go no stress? Say, now I feel the training reduce. I said, I don't have a My wife, who, who said, I don't have a And then she told the mother. And I came. The mother was excited. She's a Christian. And all that. Then we went, when you come to the fathers, that's why don't hide your relationship. When you get to the father, the fathers ask different questions from the mothers. So the father was asking a critical question. What job do you do? He said, wait now, yeah. And the father, I'm coming to tell you how my wife's father gave us a strategy to marry. And I'm going to share it with you. When she went to ask the daughter, would you marry him? So, oh, wait, you are scratchy, Paul. Now, then, 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 then my wife said, oh, they will And all that. And then when they saw that my wife really wanted us to marry, and then we are ready to marry, then the father said to us, or see Ima, two things, we are going to do it step by step. First of all, look for a job for your wife. Oh, they also be an entrepreneur. Look for a job for your wife. So we started scouting, me and my wife and the father. Active, you know, make a choice or actively, you. Pierre, if anybody tell me, Pierre, you are not that them. When we say somebody is unemployed in economics, we means the person is actively looking for a job. That is the definition of unemployment in economics. Look, I'm telling you this thing. Put these things in mind. You are church members. I won't let anybody deceive you. We actively, my wife went for several interviews. She went to GT Bank. She went there. We were looking. We went to Coco Board. You she was here, she would have told you. Went to Tema. Looking for a job for my wife. Nipa Pasi, that is our first step. And then we got a school, a Gini Gini Secondary School. And she started, when she started, the father said, okay, then you are finished with step one, step two. Go and find a place to rent and move. Then we started working, working, now working, working. You see the steps we were going through. So by the time we, it was one year, when we did our knock, it was April 1st. I did a knock April 1st. By June, we have done, July, we did our engagement, traditional wedding. Because it was step by step. By October, we are married. So any man, and I have several, I can give you case study after case study. The moment you see a woman, and you say you want to marry her. And you are serious that you want to marry her. And if it is about money, go and look for a job. It doesn't have to take you 20 years. So the woman, be wise, be smart. No, 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 no. I hope you are getting what I'm saying. This is a perspective. Be smart. And that will let you not to stay single for long. I have some interesting questions here. I'm really loving them. Let's start with this. When... You still live in a single room with your husband and you decide to move to a double apartment but you don't have enough money. How do you get it? I think Pastor can help with this. You see, um, today, uh, was it the first service I was saying that? That you see, if but first of all, how did you even arrive at the decision of going to the double room if you can't afford it? You see, um, being in a single room with your husband is not wrong. Sometimes, because it's like when a rich man wears t-shirts, he say, oh, I'll bring you. 
Oh, he ain't shirt his shirt. I said, where do you school? Let me tell you something. Um, you see, sometimes you need to get testimonies which will encourage me. When I, I decide, I, mean, I wanted to go to Accra and all that. And my wife has to move to another place to, I mean, transfer to another region. I, I detected that she'll be moving. So do you know what I did? I didn't rent two bedroom. I rented a single room to stay in with my, my wife. Single, I just did that. I didn't have need to. I can afford the chamber and hall or double room, but I decided why don't we stay in single room? We got a single room self contained, we stayed in it. It was okay. Me, I divided it. I got that idea from my in law. We divided the room, it became chamber and hall. <laughs> I don't have to spend my and I saved a lot. I mean, you know me, I like investment business. I, oh, my man. I saved a lot. When I moved into two-bedroom apartment, I'm, I have regretted that. Uh, I'm thinking of now moving back to a... Single room. Uh, ch- ch- because I realized that I... No family is going to come. Now, because I've developed a method that if a family comes, I don't want them to live with us, so I'll rent a guest house for them. You know, I, I'm just bringing up those so that I can have my peace and all those kind of things. It's not room to be in a single room. So you see, and when it comes to, I said it in the first service that when you can't afford something, you can't, it means you can't afford it. If you buy a car, you can't maintain it. It means you can't afford it. So it is not sin to be in a single room. Just find a way to make it more conducive for you go to China, you know. You see, some of you have not stayed outside. That's why you do that. In UK, Auntie Ernestina is here. In UK, hey, if you no three bedroom, I'm a renty. Share. At times, you don't happen to guys. So please, it's not wrong. When you get the money, then you can move. You now have the money. You see, God Himself in His wisdom put brakes on us. In his wisdom, he put break and this anchor who was scared about by this now to yacht, multi, what a private jet to the God has and got be everything we wish that happens. Eh, like we will do some non nonsense things plenty, but God has a way he put break. So appreciate that stage and enjoy it and listen to God for the revelation you are getting. It makes your sermon better because you've experienced it. So if you can't afford, don't worry, work hard and expand your income, then you can move. To the room you want. Yeah. But so, you yeah. got me, I'm experiencing. Come on. You worry, no, no, where's it? It's called a crentine, full house. The moon and near wall. Now, almost you worry, not a near my SSA, a year off. And to me, husband decided, say, ah, I then a young call back, almost a company house. The room at that's all. Single room, self contained. Now we free full house across our room no. I say, ah, yeah, I'm going to eat here. So now, how you hunger? Now, now you choose to escape, basa basa. You call back. I did you come here? Now, yes, I know you're my daughter. Did you come here to go garage? In fact, oh, so yeah, now I'm going to win the panel. I'm going to so. I'm going to be a bunting. I'm going to say my work. And you know, I'm going to be your crown. Now, 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 so the ferry account said, "Be said, be where Jimmy? I didn't want to mean you now. Oh, they are wanting so for more how. Eh, oh, man, some more can't tell. But yeah, how am I? There be and see a free one. Oh, a free one. As I call, eh, two bedrooms and hall. A free one now. Oh, 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 when you just say, 'Yeah, man, I call here.' We be in case free number one. I call number two. What about man? Eh, who say? What say me? To me, call number two. Amen. Amen. Thank you." Me person me dey kaka kah hum. Me so me life experience. Me worry me kuno. Me nim se mo nim bi bi a friend studio flat. Studio flat. So we came to a time ah. Say madam fu bi kwa so besamia me kacho say a studio flat no a kitchen and the bedroom and the bathroom ni the same room. So, and when we pay the rent and the electricity bill, 
uh, the landlord retired a uh, public servant nobody so by the time i gave birth to my firstborn uh, even though light was area but not yet so i cook me go ho nchen simu wo baby a yijare i was pregnant na me wo ho nchen simu wo baby yijare no na e ho aso na ho no so wo enti pastor can ya the curtains and na ya the a divide no studio flat so if you are here and you are serious a lady and you want to marry in fact that is the testimony but a free ho no a time even came ye too free ho Afena e nyeska enkoje room ni awo first born inti my husband caught na ne office e ho na ye sesa ye ni enkunwa ni ni ema nyina kokuye and now it's a different story so life is lived in levels in this so your ba wa hana se unye wadwin say you will pass through and said that question was there you will pass through ah you will not enjoy so opese wo enjoy i always tell the young ladies say opese wo enjoy si say e da o ne o ma now you are single so you don't need much o ta mo ba ga na wo ko but so opese da chi a nkwara ka wo mum no enjoy a e wo say wo sacrifice for now thank you thank you very much we move on to our next question is it wrong to financially support a guy you are dating? If yes, what if he does not end up marrying you but marries another person? Does your effort go in vain? Panelist, <laughs> <laughs> who is taking this for us? Pastor is smiling. I think he has a lot to share with us on that. Pastor, can you help us? I'm a bachelor in for any kind. You and this is you. Oh, but me at this can I am well guy no. But I'm fine. I'm doing so. Oh, baby, we're running. So this can I go to a good Samaritan. A woman I want you. And the I know what I'm fine. So what do you mean? My best friend. The people who need energy. Oh, we're going now to invest. The pure baby be a no de co. No de co. Nay, friends three. Yen yana over catches or pay. And Tim saw no yana, when yansa opportunity. No, on our fans saw no opportunity. Yes, or pay. And to a real school, no different person. And of course, I had gone now the pim ne. And see, many in the sad and a media, the men hunty. Good Samaritan, Ejuma. <laughs> yeah, and okay. you, you, you see, if you can give your money to support financially, you see, me, I'm talking of investment perspective. Ah, look, do targeted investments. Uber to me, I'm a finance. I don't know, um, one on one. Here. Nti na mese me ma no me a me ma no and then me yi me pese ma no mo ni nda ho m me se mo ni nda titus 3 o se so for ya ma me to me say me unveil titus 3 the last verse you say ma me sa to me no to ko ho a o bo say to me no ya dia ma me wo ho so i will unveil me pese mo ni nda ho be strategic in your thinking don't make emotional decisions obama no she make sure so person ware o o ba ware wa date but you know okay na fa say asika no e fund initially february no she saw vision or your hard working if that all those things are catered for until oba cancel e be hwe say anyame ni ni amo until o ware o wi a afi woman is ke bia na da chi no so so obi free aware ma court be to ma gbi bia the amount but o twimp na no oja ko free now that is what it means but as a christian if you are helping somebody you must have in mind that you are doing unconditionally but if you have motive that i'm doing an investment there is no relationship you will invest to there is no relationship bema obey invest obey to kfc 
Be costa bite. She kumasi na odi adi ewo be towa. No, it is true. You will invest. At Obani be back as on school fees in soon for be count. You be investing. But meanwhile, it be another panel. Don't worry. But you see, when you make effort to marry the person, who your investment there is fruitful. That's why don't date for long. If you have money, then help the guy. It's, no more worry. So I get what I'm saying. But if you are not doing so, don't put it in your mind that because there is no rules and laws. I just want to know your contract. So oh man is can you wear in a bed and day into the marriage? Of course, it's not going to work that way. But if you want it to do, then be strategic in your investment. In our tea, who your bar? If I don't know whether it's a woman that a lady who wrote that question, don't be funding a guy's laziness. What is it? Don't be funding a lazy man. Or but what this kind of oh yeah yeah? Woman is a say on your business ah. When in intimacy say business your partners you sign. You want to you don't sign. Make me amount scary. Into you sign. Business if I saw fifty percent fifty percent. Be watching. I don't need you man in course. I don't need say be involved. What I say, Musa Pretia, Obia che 50 50 shares. Moko. That's why we'll do all those business. Say, Namo Ninda, or you have to think like a strategist. Or see, or go school. Me de bo obusia, me jima ade. Waware o dia. So, waware de mbo obusia muntia. And then the only me say, we rebe kato se mbo obusia. Untia. When you are, that is the way to deal with such an issue. Kachan is say, me de bo obesia. Me niska uli mse me minye Bill Gates. Into the me de bo obesia. Unye wia fe me. Into the ojawa. Ube tu me haka se misika na. What ya siye? Me de bo obesia. Ba me enfe she o tim se o me fande be ema. No be ye be ema. No aware me. Maybe. Please, that doesn't also mean say, oh my gifts, please. And I kiss so for me, man, yes, someone said, she had the power. You need to give gifts like Valentine on a birthday. I remember a lady told me a story or say, two guys, na no more penawari. Back or back, or you could fit pa or bet now, or say, for Bible, bra or back, then supine, no, they are back. Or no one can say to me, guy, where you're correct, but or you prepare to feed back, to cry, want to be a mechanic, and the other. And so the other person, they bow, put a politician bag in your mama. And so no, or no one to me, guy, you want your papa. In the arm, you're in charge, yes. But I don't know, I bring, I don't know, I have ignorance. Please, the Christian brothers, don't be ignorant. Bible says, dwell with women with, with knowledge. Bible, this is Bible's a man's gift to make room for him. These are simple scriptures in the Bible. You want to marry the lady. Bible I just say man's gift to make room for him. There be but simple thing. Oh, me who way me to surprise. No why you say. Look, let me tell you a secret. Look into their life, what you can do for them to be a blessing. Anybody who you are not only in marriage or courting, who be any person close to anybody who is rich, great person, don't be asking them money. Bible says a man's gift, a simple scripture. Look into the person's life and see, say, oh, they've been a mate to me, I am, man. He be an ocean man, now. Obi be on, let me say, I don't have time, eh? So there are so many things, I don't even have time to do it. Bob wants to be all, no, so, Pastor, I don't know, who should know, who to show for fro, no, I to show a mammy. And that's a mean to me, I afford you. But mean to me, a bit more crummy, who are the crown, who send a messy I. So the man will see, so, oh, and then you make room for you. So I with women. And yes, I want to mean to a bit more scassing. My answer was so we all need to go. Did there be? 
no wa hwe ni phone e bi eni abo no so oh mami nko ye sisa screen ni ma no we tua look i have i have a friend police oni ni kunu i went to the other mum say wo mo tie aye yi na me see o me kwa na me ko to tie for for but mama ni ni age so a your relationship but what you want to pay some to your ban on any number no who will send you phone screen no apa so pick it and say a five cd now the call no i hear they are brand new fine oh yeah darling then one more one one when you're 50 i can't bear say i can't now we could be now we could a no but here no 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 happening and when women decide to marry you they put their everything so we see all the bbi but the way it's just so Bible actual scripture un diso na o se o no no you you u be nya fake ones aha na ntia na sister yeah thank you thank you so much and i just wanted to add on one thing um, for the ladies so if you are financially supporting the person just be sure that this person is somebody who can provide for you in the future because the core function aside the six parts, the biceps, and all of that you are seeing. The core function of a husband is to provide for you. So if you are funding him now, does he have those qualities that in the future he's going to be able to take care of you or provide for the family? He's somebody who is always wasting even the money that you are giving him. He doesn't have any vision. So whatever you are seeing now, you can... See what is going to happen in the future. So I think it's so important that you take that into consideration.